Hi, welcome to my humble home. So far, I have quite good conditions for recording, although an hour is enough to make it completely dark and then, unfortunately, it will be impossible to work with this camera. But it's enough for me to change the device for a moment and you will see me in a completely different way. Ready? What you see is an image from the Pulsar Helion XP50 Thermal Imaging Scope. I received this device for testing from the manufacturers Yukon Advanced Optics and this is the most advanced of Pulsar thermal images which is currently available on the market. However, before we go with it for hunting, let me show you what this device can do. In the Pulsar XP50 set, apart from the Tomar imager, you also get a battery, battery charger, USB cable, instructions, case, belt and a special cleaning material. In addition, everyone can also download the StreamVision application available on phones with iPhone and Android system, which I will show soon. Before we focus on the function of the device, I would like to explain you the difference that you see in your monitor and which I see in this device. Well, most modern monitors or computers work in full HD resolution or higher. However, this device works in 640 x 480 resolution. So, Resolution. The resolution, which is the number of pixels that you see on your laptop, phone or monitor. Pulsar screen resolution is 640 per 480 pixels, while Full HD is 1920 per 1080 pixels. If you have a Full HD monitor, you can fit over 6 screens from the imager on your screen. Therefore, if you watch in full screen, you probably see so-called pixelos. This is due to rescaling the resolution of your monitor. The image is stretched, hence the effect. In the thermal imaging scopes itself, the image will be perfect when used, because the display is adapted to the sensor perfectly. Both have 630 pixels by 480 pixels resolution. After charging and installation the battery, the device is ready for operation. Start with the first button. The same button is also used to turn off the device and slip the screen to save battery in the hunting unit. Above the activation button there is a focus ring and a lens change lever enabling its removal. The XP50 is a thermal imager that has replaceable lenses. The set includes a classic 50mm lens, 2.5 to 20 magnification, and detection range up to 1800 meters, which is almost 2 kilometers. In addition, we can buy lenses with a focal length 38 mm, magnification 1.9 to 15.2, range up to 1350 meters, and 28 focal length offering 1.4 to 11.2 magnification and a range up to 1000 meters. All lenses have an aperture of 1.2. The device is completely waterproof and watertight IPX7 waterproof glass. The heart of the device is a special detector called a microbiometer with a pixel size of 17 microns and a spectral range of 8 to 40 microns. The sensor resolution is 640 per 480 pixels. The weight is equal to 500 grams. The minimum distance of sharp vision is 3 meters. This device can work both in summer and winter because the operating temperature is between minus 15 to plus 50 Celsius. Below the power button are four buttons which are able to control the entire device. First button, the up arrow change modes and the holding and down longer change the color palette. When we are in the main menu, the button is used for navigation and in the pop-up menu to change parameters such as zoom, contrast, rangefinder, settings or brightness. The second button with the M designation is responsible for the menu. Both quick menu accessible with quick click and the main one in which we have access to more advanced functions. Under the menu button we have a down arrow that is responsible for zoom. 
Its short press is to go through several magnification in steps and the holding in longer activates the picture-in-picture -picture function, in which we have an additional enlargement of the observed object in the center of the screen. In the pop-up menu it performs the function of changing parameters and in the main menu it's for the navigation. At the very bottom we have the record button which will start, pause and stop recording of what is happening on the screen of the device. In addition, holding it down longer changes the modes between photos and videos. All recordings which you can see here comes directly from this device and several hunting clubs in which I've been using it. An interesting fact is that we can record with and without sound. Below the button is the ring for adjusting the focus of the iCAD. On the side there is a hit sync and at the bottom there is a mount for the photo tripod. On the other side, next to the battery is a micro USB socket for connecting the imager to a computer. The device is equipped with 8GB of memory, which is enough for many hours of recording. As I have already mentioned, the device is also completely waterproof, which stands using snowy, foggy and rainy weather. Including battery provides up to 8 hours of operating. The measure itself is very handy, has an adjustable strap for better grip and I didn't feel my hand to get tired after very long use. The rotating shell makes it easy to adjust it for both right and left eye observation. What is the imager itself? Many consider it as a tool to show high temperature. However, the imager is actually used to show temperature differences. The image you see will change depending on the weather conditions. What makes Pulsar a such good device is not only the equipment itself, but also the software installed on the device and algorithms that have been prepared to operate in the most difficult conditions. After a sunny day, the image will be very clear in virtually any thermal imaging device. However, after heavy rains on foggy mornings, where we have to deal with heavy rainfall, the contrast of our surroundings is changing. It is these special algorithms that ensure that the image in Helion XP50 is the best quality and we will be able to recognize game even in the worst and most difficult conditions. The device is also equipped with so-called statimetric rangefinder used to determine the approximate distance to an object of known size. These objects are hare, wild boar and deer. And so, through the thermal imaging itself, we are able to initially estimate the distance to the observed object. Pulsar has three observation modes which we can change using the first button. The first of these is so-called forest mode. It provides an optimal image in the conditions of dense vegetations and temperature differences. In this module, vegetation and hot objects, in example our game, are clear. Let's use it when we want to see as much as possible, not only animals but also the surroundings to make sure that the area on which we hunt is safe. The second mode is called rock mode, useful when hunting in hot terrain, during a sunny day, in a rocky, hot environment or on a hot summer night. The third one is an identification module with higher sensitivity for the most accurate identification of the observed object. There is a bit more ambient noise, but in this mode it is most natural because we want to get as much details as possible from the object. Main menu accessible with a long press of the button, it is the control center of our device. From Wi-Fi connection settings through the module selections, mode, color palettes, calibrations, lens changes, access from the stream vision application, language, time or date to the memory card format. From this level we can reset factory settings, connect the remote controller and read additional information. In fact, we can change every parameter of our device here. It is this menu that we can change the color palette and so the manufacturer has made available 8 color modes Hot White Hot Black 
and Hot Red are the best animal detection modules. Rainbow and Ultramarine best for recognition and accurate identification. While Red Monochrome, Sepia and Purple are best for comfortable viewing in the dark. Of course, the standard is white hot, which is our main setting, however, during prolonged use we may feel that our eye feels some discomfort. In such situation, the red monochrome mode works very well, which is designed not to strain our eyes. In addition, the manufacturer took care of that Wherever you want to quickly switch to accurately recognize the target, just hold on this button longer. It's enough to choose red monochrome from the main menu, which is ideal for long use, and then when needed, just switch by holding the up arrow to the hot white, thanks to which we can accurately recognize the object. Such a change of colors will cause that even in the greatest darkness our eyes will not get tired and we can shoot when needed. As you can see, this device records not only during the night and works not only during the night but also during the day. Thanks to this it gives us the opportunity to observe game also now when is the day, when is the light and when the game is hiding in the bushes when it hides in forest or when it lies on the field, which normally is not simple with the human eye. This device has the advantage that we can use it both day and night. Now, the most interesting. Pulsar can be connected to your phone or tablet via Wi-Fi network. That gives us the opportunity not only to view what is currently happening on the display screen, but also controlling the device itself through the application that is installed on mobile. What can we change here? We can change all the parameters. For example, contrast, this is the highest contrast and this is the lowest contrast. We can also change the mode settings. Now we have the rock one, but we can switch to the other. For example, we can switch to the, the identification mode. Each of these settings can be easily changed from the application itself, including the color palette you saw earlier. Here we have hot black, where I look completely different compared to the hot white. Next, hot red. Monochrome red, which I mentioned, this is the perfect to search for a game, so that the eye we currently using does not get tired. Rainbow mode, which looks quite interesting. And on the next screen you have additional modules. Ultramarine, Violet and Sepia. It is, as you remember, red and others can be programmed under one button to then use the hot white and switch to it. What else does the application gave us apart from the fact that we can switch to pictures? Directly from here you can change both the brightness, which we have also in our menu. This is done in the same way by moving the sliders. Or zoom together with picture in picture. Of course zoom 5 or zoom 7.5 and any other combinations which will interest us. We can zoom in and zoom out from this place. I also would like to show you the motion detector I mentioned earlier. To run this function we must first stabilize our thermal imager. We attach it with a special mount to the photographic tripod or, as in my case, to a shooting stick tripod or just putting it in a hunting stand window, from which we are currently hunting. We mount it by screwing the screw into the mounting and then we set up the tripod itself. In this way, the imager is stable. I am now starting the motion detection function and as you can see, 
my move is caught by the app. So at the moment when we will have game that will appear in our range, the device will detect movement which will cause vibration in our phone. And the area in which motion was detected will be marked with a border. The red line will be visible. Of course, in motion detection we can determine how large the image is expected. When we have something small, even a small movement of the hand is enough, or small game. Of course, we can set the image for the big thing, then the motion to be called must take a large part of our screen. And this is the only function that I can only run from the phone itself. Of course, we can still turn on the alarm sound and determine wherever it should be loud or quiet. It is known that if we are in the hunting stand, we want the game not to hear us, so it's the best to leave only the vibration and turn off the sounds. And even if we fall asleep, the vibrations will be so noticeable that we can easily wake up. Here we also have the function of calibrating the device itself. Every now and then you can see in the imager that it's calibrating. There is such a short break for a second. The same way you can do the calibration from the phone. Of course, the application can be installed on phones with Android and iOS or even on tablets. Taking advantage of the fact that I'm at home, my beloved wife prepared a cup of hot coffee for me so that I can show you how it looks in the imager. And in this case, you can see that this is much warmer than me. The era of thermovision is the end of incorrect recognition of the target. This is the end of not being sure wherever we have a boar in the field, or is it a potato chief. A thermal imaging scope is a guarantee that our target will be a boar and nothing else. Thermal imaging scope is safety during hunting, but it's useful not only for observing and hunting, but also for counting game, for estimating hunting damage, for trap protection, fighting poaching, or even saving people's lives because thanks to this device we will be able to help even emergency services in search of missing people. Imagine who knows the forest better than we do and equipped with such a tool we are able to save lives. This device changed the approach and ensures that we always have perfect conditions for hunting and game observation. If even after shooting the wild boar will go for a few meters into the bushes, dense grass, fields of grain, it is thanks to the pulsar that we can find it without any problem, because the game will still be warm long after an accurate shot. Is the Helion XP50 worth the price? I think I was able to show that yes. Great quality, perfect image, a European brand with its own service in the European Union, access to a mass of accessories, software updates, water resistant and intuitive operation. Additional quantity of parameters, settings and configurations. Before this device came to me, I heard an opinion that who would once go hunting with a thermal in my scope, he will never want to hunt in a different way. Because hunting conditions with Pulsar are always good. And you know what? I totally agree with that opinion. Happy hunting!